I'll probably be able to go through it no problem. Now, before you start banging on the wall, if that's an interior wall, on the other side, go and check. Make sure there's not a clock hanging on the wall or anything like that. Because the last thing you want to do is create more issues with your wall. Okay. Now we got some pictures on the wall. Four, five different pictures. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off on, on hammering. I'm going to try just a little this little self-tapper screw first. Look at that. Went through. Now, I didn't feel anything, so it might be between the stucco and the, uh, the OSB plywood. There could be a layer of foam in there. I'm going to take a longer screw, see if I hit that plywood like I think there is in the wall. I don't know. There might not be anything. Let's, let's take a longer, let's get a longer screw. pretty far without hitting anything. I've got a long nail here. That's about the same length as the screw. Look at that. I'll make a liar out of me. There's, I don't think there's any plywood on that wall. Good Lord. Lots of times there is. I thought there would be for sure on here. Now let's see if I can't find my my self tapper screw. See that's just going right right through the stucco. Now if this stucco was 30 years old or you know built in the in the uh, 90s, 80s. There could be three quarters of an inch of stucco or more. You might not be able to do it as easily. I'm gonna just take a long one and see if it hits anything. Chances are it's not going to, right? Nothing. Isn't that something? Uh, that blows my whole theory out of the water. Okay, so. Maybe it's a good thing they did give me these uh, these little plastic anchors, and I may have to uh, make the hole. Probably gonna have to make the hole slightly bigger than that. And um, boy, I've got a little bit fatter screw. Maybe I can make the hole a little bit bigger with that. If I have to get a drill bit, I may have to get a drill bit uh, to get these in. And so if I use a drill bit, I could use a drill bit in there now. Uh, and uh, the, But the last thing is, you don't want to get the hole so big that these plastic anchors start spinning in there. And I'm going to try these plastic anchors, I guess. Okay, It looks like I've got to find a drill bit a little bit bigger to ream that out. But it's a fine line, okay? Because if you make it too big, then once you put this plastic anchor in, it could start spinning as you're putting the screw in. We don't want that. All right. I'm looking at this, and it looks like it's going to be quarter inch, but um, I'm going to take a 3 sixteenths. I just kind of do this business to it. I might get it just slightly bigger without drilling it. Okay, like 
that. And uh, you could do that. I could do that with my scratch all too. See, it's still, it's still really snug. I think I have a little uh, scratch all in here. Well, that's what I call a scratch all, like an ice pick. I could do it with a little screwdriver too, because all I'm using is the shaft and, and kind of wiggling it back and forth and making the stucco just a hair bigger. I should do it with the with with the uh, with the screwdriver in case you hit a wire edge or something like that. You really wouldn't want to do that with uh, with that, would you? Except that one's bigger. That one's bigger. I might have to. Well, see, I got a I got a nail set. I can do it with that. I think, I think that's going to do it, actually. There we go. So I want that to go in about halfway. And I'm hoping to now be able to tap it in. There. See that? I'm lightly, I'm lightly tapping as to not knock the pictures off the wall. Okay, now, now I can put those little, I can put the little screws in. And let's just see here. I can take my, Well, it doesn't give you much, does it? Let's see. You don't need you don't need that much for a mailbox. If somebody really wanted to rip it off the wall, they could. Even if I use longer screws, I think. So see, now I can slip that on there, just exactly like how it is. this on there find out where that is and drop it down like that now I can tighten that up uh, level it out exactly then mark the bottom screws then I have to pull it off drill the bottom screws put the anchors in level it put it back in there you see what I mean I don't want to drill I don't want to drill the bottom holes I don't want to drill those bottom holes yet. See how the top ones slide like that? So I'll level this out. It looks like the, the right hand side needs to go up a little bit. Once I do that, then I can mark these bottom two. Then take it off, put the anchors in down there, and start all over. Once I level it up, these holes will be in the exact spot and I can put those in, okay? Yeah, I leveled it. I was going to mark it, and um, I don't have my uh, felt tip pen or anything, and I can't get a pencil in there. I'm just going to use my little self-tapper screw and start it. You know, I've already leveled this and everything, tightened it up, and now 